this is a new building, but in the beginning of the second century, every single window was a shop. In other words, the granddaddy of the shopping mall. Hopefully with luxury goods, junk would have been sold on the street. You would have bought your Versace or Fendi from this place. And back there is Lycabettus Hill, the highest hill of Athens. Totally off the subject, chamomile. You can pick it and dry it and make yourself some chamomile tea. But I like the poppies. These are the first red poppies I've seen in a long, long time. I love poppies. It's from 4th century AC. I like the dice from the 5th century. Do they still play a game like that? Yes. With the yes. knuckle bones? Yes, with any kind of uh, small stones. 250 BC, give or take a few years, a hunting scene. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice jewelry. Still make everything the same way as they did then. It always amazes me that they find anything attacked from 450 BC. I just think that fragment was from like that, they think. Somebody was speaking in the law courts. Draw a clock is for timing speeches. Two perforated vessels, one of which was placed at a higher level than the other and filled with water. The upper vessel had an outlet and an experienced speaker adjusted his speech to coincide with the last drop. They used it from the end of the 5th to the end of the 4th century BC to people for jury duty. Every citizen had an identification slot who was eligible for jury service and they would put it in there. There was a metal tube on that side and they would put a number of black and white bronze balls in random order and then they'd crank it, and the balls would be coming out one or one. So depending on whether or not it was a white or a black ball, the citizens in one row were either accepted or rejected for jury. I love that. Each citizen eligible for jury service carried a bronze plate on which was incised his name, the name of his father, and the name of his township. Uh -huh. uh, Ostracism. They, they wrote the name of the politician that they didn't want anymore. That, that they don't they want him anymore. To punish him, punish, punish him, send him away. In other words, if yes. we wanted to get rid of a president or yeah. something like yeah, that, something we can like that. we can so, write someone's yeah. names on all these and then ostracize them. That would be a great idea. And that's all from 482 BC. Well, I don't see my name on anything. I don't see Sheila, so I'm not being ostracized. The Agora Museum is very interesting, I think. It said infants were placed inside little amphora, and bodies of adults were found in regular pits cut into the earth with grave goods around them. Rings from a woman's grave. Mm -hmm. These used to be 750 BC. They used to keep cosmetics in there too. Before that, before they started doing the offerings, this came from a pregnant, wealthy woman. Uh, I'll say, take a look at what went with her to the. Well, I guess not the hereafter, since everything is still dug up. A half thousand years ago, this girl's grave was found. Mm, unreal. Yes. It's hard to believe that this was all the stuff laying there and still like this. These ballots with a solid axle were for acquittal, while those with a pierced axle was for condemnation. <laughs> That's the ballot box. The black glazed medicine bottles perhaps were used to hold hemlock in executions. That's what the hemlock is. One little cup of hemlock would do it. Well, they didn't hang them or anything? They poisoned no, no, no. them? No, it depends on uh, the period and uh, the crime also. The lands are and all. Oh, I see. You go slowly by paral paralysis. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
These humongous bricks were part of the original Stoa Wall. I love this little museum. Everything else was reconstructed. The Romans connected the Greek Agora with their Agora, and basically the Roman Agora were, was markets, stores, made for marketplace. And that's where we're heading to the Roman Agora. Thank you.